Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's going to be truck loadout number three. I've had several people ask for this, and in case you're new to this uh, and haven't watched the first two, part one, I was working as a maintenance man or a maintenance technician for one campus in particular. I did do some side jobs, but I've always liked using my own tools, and so I had my deck system in the back. I had some pack out in the front where I kept my personal things that I used on those jobs, but at that point I had a place, I had an office space, I had material space there to where I didn't have to worry about keeping materials in my truck, things like that. Well, now I've went out on my own. So part two is I went out on my own. I had to kind of have a little bit more room inside my truck. I put some drawers, a little bit more pack out, things like that to kind of help me. And now that I'm a year in, I found that I needed a little bit more things because it's just run into some issues. And that's where I added this Lear camper topper. Now I bought this used. I didn't buy it new because I didn't want to spend the money for one for a 2011 truck. Uh, to spend new for something and then I might need a new truck in a few years or whatever So I ended up getting this one for a thousand dollars and it wasn't really set up the way that I wanted it And I'll talk about that when we get into this But now that I've been using it the way that I got it as because I just haven't had time to do what I thought I wanted to do It's actually been working out pretty well for me. So I'm going to kind of show you how I use that So again, this is maybe a long video. I'm gonna go through my entire truck I know sometimes I ramble on, but I'm going to put chapters as far as for like driver side, passenger side, truck bed, things like that. So if I get to rambling, you want to skip on, just go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and get into the driver side. So on the driver side, again, mine's a 2011 Super Cab. So both my doors open like this. I think I kind of like that better than the two doors for my purposes, even though because I don't carry people. And now I don't know, maybe I would have more room, you know, with two doors. Sometimes this does become a... A burden opening this up in between parking spots and things like that all right so front side up here in the driver's seat all i keep up front is my things to for estimating like paperwork i got my contractor's licenses insurance papers things like that quick grab pair of gloves different glasses reading glasses safety glasses and a little door stop and a little bag for trash or whatever it might be i try not to keep too much stuff up in the front uh so I'm not going to have a whole lot going on up there. We get back to the back side, the back seat. Uh, I do have some of those gorilla or crocodile wipes here. I keep those there, so that's an easy grab for me. I'm going to start at the, the bottom. I keep a tape measure clipped on here. This is a spot that I couldn't get a drawer to go into because, you know, it obviously isn't going to come out because it's going to hit this. I keep my Bosch um, digital angle finder here. And then way back in the back is the jack for my truck because I had to move it because it was normally underneath of this seat. Uh, my next part that I might do is take these seats out altogether to give myself some more room. But then I might have to rebuild stuff. And I, right now I've actually got probably more room than I need because some of my drawers, when you look in them, you're going to see they're not really organized in the most efficient way. But that's what they are. I keep my zip tie holders clipped on to my seat belt back here the little hook on there so i got colored zip ties black zip ties sometimes i use colored zip ties on things just while i'm temporarily doing things so i can remember what's what i keep a bit railer out here clipped on and then also my diamondback sack clipped on in case i want to use this one it's right there and then i keep a magnetic tray i just put two unistrut washers on this drawer here I can take and just leave that on there so I can take this off and take it with me and I also use it as a quick throw on thing if I've got some loose bits that I don't want to open drawers and put away at that exact moment maybe it's raining outside I can just throw them on there then I also keep this is my main tape measure that I use all the time I really like this Nolster clip on this tape measure that works out fantastic for me I keep that right there uh, so that's basically everything on the outside of these drawers before I go into the drawers We'll look over here in this door and I've got the big Joey new holstery pouch and then I've got the regular original down in there so these are just quick grab pouches uh, for me to use for whatever I want to use them for they're empty so I can put whatever I want to in it I keep some Houdini here in the door along with some rags so that I can clean things before I put them back into the drawers I just like to do that we get up here on the top this is new from last time uh, but well, I don't know. Maybe I did have the drawers last time on this side, but I've got more drawers basically I don't remember if I had these here or not But I got a three drawer over here along with this allows me to clip Single organizers up here. I got wall anchors. 
I've got Wagos and wire nuts, and then I've also got crimp connections right here. But I can take these out if I know I'm not using them. Maybe I need to take my M18 router with me to a job. I know I'm not going to be using wire nuts and things if I'm using a router typically. I can take these out, put them in my garage, clip my router in, something else. It basically gives me another connection point for a few organizers. And then down here I also have an organizer, uh, one of the bigger ones, that I screwed into my wooden drawers down here. Uh, I don't get in this very often, so I'll go ahead and snap this one just to keep my drawers from moving around as much. And this is hard to do one-handed. Uh, but underneath here, if I flip this up, I keep different screws, just random ones. So if I go to the store and I buy some screws and I've got five or six left over, I just throw them in here. So this is kind of just a random screw. I've got tap cons, metal screws, wood screws, whatever it is. You know, you're going to run into some situation somewhere where you need some kind of a screw. Odds are I'm going to kind of have that. That's kind of my junk screw box, but it gives me a place to mount these drawers so they don't move around. And I paid whatever those cost, I think 40 bucks, instead of buying the actual mount that I get zero storage for. So then I get into the pack out drawers. We're going to start in the bottom. So this is kind of uh, measuring and just different things. I've got all three of my laser distance measures, the two new dual ones in my Bosch, so I'm still playing around with those. Uh, if I had to pick one, though, I think it's in Kerma functions a little better. I like some of the attributes of the Sigma, but I think that the in Kerma one might work a little better so far. But again, time will tell. I got my heads for my installation driver. I've got spare utility knife blades, uh, razor blades, a couple extra tape measures. This is all charging cables. Uh, whether it's for O-Light flashlights, USB-C, I've also got this M18 to take a battery to charge my phone. I keep a laser target card because I also keep my Sigmin 3-plane laser in here. Again, I've kind of said that this is my favorite of all those ones that were sent to me because of the size of it. You can see how it fits in that packout drawer right there. have a Franklin sensor stud finder here, and then here's just random testing equipment. I've got a thermometer, a couple different of the little Kiwits, a tester, some extra leads, a, a moisture meter from Top Test. So this drawer is kind of just things that I might would get out for certain things, which is what you're going to find in my drawer. And in my drawers, pretty much for the most part, and again, I do a lot of different stuff. It's really hard for me to outfit my truck, in my opinion, because I go from being doing electrical work to plumbing work to framing to... Uh, drywall so I can't just set up my truck one specific way so it's kind of got to be flexible I may even take stuff out of these drawers you'll see on the other side I've got drawers that are kind of just I throw random stuff in there for whatever the jobs are and it's so they're gonna change all the time what's in them uh, the second drawer kind of just random hand tools so I just throw these in here as I need them these are more of the electrical extra like so hand tools that I don't need all the time but sometimes I want them so I've got strippers that are specifically for Romex there's the conduit um, lock nut pliers that I just had a video for the Milwaukee ECX screwdrivers I just got the Klein conduit uh, a couple other ball drivers uh, in case I just want some extra screwdrivers and then I've just got some random adjustable wrenches, some clamps, some extra cobras, cobras, my Klein crimper. Uh, again, this this is a drawer that I will slowly add tools to as I'm using them, and as I pull them out of my garage or as I buy them. These are random tools that I want with me, but I definitely don't need them in my tool bag because I'm not going to use them enough that I need to pack them around all the time. The top drawer right now is kind of just hopefully you can see I can't really even see what I'm filming much uh, just my squares different measuring devices that I'll use on job sites so and then I've got a whole empty space right here so again I'm not I've not fully figured it out yet guys it's gonna be a ongoing process but I, like I said I've got even extra room right now so I think I'm in a good place with it I've got some drawer space still and then I've got some space now freed up in the back of my truck so I've got room to grow with this we're just gonna have to see where it takes me so that's all of those that's everything that's up in this pack out now as I get down in here what I put in these has changed a little my top drawer is my main drawer as far as so whenever I get out of my truck this is the drawer that I typically will open nine times out of ten 
it's where I put what I use the most. So I have my M12 Surge, I've got my installation driver, I've got my MP1 because this is typically what I will take in. This has kind of been my become my grab bag in a way and my just pouch that I use. So I will take this before I take my big bag in somewhere. And then I have the new Joey Pro original size. So this will be my first pouch that I would probably use because it's my preferred one. My M12 service light. And then I keep back here in the back this pouch from Occidental Leather because it's got my knife that I like using if, I, if I'm doing certain work. But a lot of times there's certain jobs that I do where I use this. And I didn't really have a good other place to keep it. So it's back in the back. I don't have to dig it out. And then that's another Bosch laser that I've actually got for sale right now. So I threw it in there in case somebody messages me and wants to buy it. So then over here, as I've got this drawer open, I had this space that I had to contour with my seat. So I just, I couldn't make, I didn't want to make the drawer weird have my slides weird. I mentioned that in the last video. It's probably about a uh, little over two feet deep, I guess. So I keep my 24 inch Stabila digital level, level in there. I also keep my nine inch Empire digital level in there. And I keep my 24 inch level five skimming blade in there. I didn't really have a good place to keep this in my truck anywhere without worrying about it getting damaged, but that works great for certain patches and butt joints, stuff like that. So I like to keep it in my truck because I do do a lot of drywall work, it seems like. Uh, so I keep all those in there. They don't move around, so it's a good spot for those. So again, that's my main drawer. I'm gonna open that first. I get down into here. The second drawer is all my little bits, uh, accessories. So I have uh, the Milwaukee bit cases. These are the new ones that I just got a little while ago that I bought with the half inch impact sockets So I kept those in here. I've got my I still have my sets from the DeWalt cases my drill bits and things like that. That's on my how do you Organize your organizer videos. These are still working out well for me. Saws all blades oscillating tool blades uh, Self tapping bits. I do have a DeWalt uh, shear that you put in your impact jigsaw blades security bits I'm gonna try not to go through everything to make this video be two hours long but it, I mean it's gonna be a long one and this is just the place where I throw random things that don't really have a place but it's kind of I dig through there and find stuff and then here's all my extra little holstery magnets spider tool holsters my square holder and then the only tool type thing I have in here and it's because I didn't really have a better place to put it and it's back in the back because I don't use them often either is my hinge doctor set back in there I keep that back there so this is mostly bits and accessories for your drills drivers sawzalls oscillating tools all those kinds of things I think that's pretty much about the same as it was in the last video in that magnet and then my bottom drawer is all my batteries M12 batteries, M18 batteries, the M12 ones, I just mounted some of those things. I already had these from a long time ago, so I mounted those in the bottom of the drawer, keeps them from moving around. I keep three bigs, four smalls, and I keep all my you know, high, high output M18s, and then a small one for my Brad nail gun, and a couple 5.0s. I have more batteries than this, but this is just what I keep in my truck, and then that way, whenever I get home, I can throw these on chargers, and swap them out with the other ones that are on the chargers and I don't have to wait for them to charge. And then I keep some tools in here, uh, M12 drill. I use that mainly for mixing my drywall mud, M18 hammer drill, the M18 surge, M12 oscillating tool, and then the M12 right angle impact. So those are just some different drivers and things that I might would wanna grab easier than going all the way back to the back of my truck and, and digging those out, so. So that's pretty much the driver side. I don't think I have anything else back there. Now I used to keep chargers back there, uh, but I don't anymore. So that's the driver side. Um, again, let me know if you see something that you think I could do better. Again, the next step might would be because I'm never going to dig all this back out again. Just so somebody can sit back here. I may end up taking my back seats out and that would make me be able to build a little bit bigger drawers and maybe just do some more things. But we'll just have to see in the future. Like I said, I seem like right now I've got plenty of room for what I'm doing. But let's go ahead and go over to the passenger side, see what changes I've made there. 
So passenger side up front, uh, I used to keep my tool bag here. I keep it back in my camper topper in my tailgate now. Now that that's covered, I don't have to keep it up here, but sometimes I do just throw it in here. So it's some, my MCT blackout sometimes rides out up here. Right now it's back in the back. Uh, front door, I keep some glass cleaner. I keep some all around cleaner, a sponge. Here I keep just a bunch of composite shims, a couple wood ones, and then I got those air shims that you pump up and use. I just didn't really have a good place to those. I, just using the door holes as they are. This side, I keep my gloves. So I got demolition type gloves. I got some leather gloves. And then these are the ones that I wear all the time. I either use these uh, Maxi Flex or the Milwaukee gloves. Those are typically the ones that I use. And then back here is where I keep my cleaner hat. If I'm going to estimate something, I keep right now since it's summertime, I've got this hat in case I'm working outside. I keep a nice shirt with my logo on it in case i'm going for an estimate some better pants and then i got a change of clothes back here uh rain jacket some coveralls basically those are where i'm keeping my clothes at the moment uh, for extra stuff just if i get dirty whatever it is and then off here to the side i tuck my caulk gun back in here it fits in there good i, was, I always i kept trying to find a good place to put this anywhere and everywhere i was putting it it would stick out somewhere i don't like putting it in my drawer because it takes up so much room and i saw that little crease and i thought i wonder if i can tuck that back in there and i mean it actually fits back in there really snug and then it never moves around so that works out good and down here on the bottom i keep like t-shirt type rags back here. I like using those whenever I'm using caulk and things like that. I like those better than using these microfibers, but I also keep a bunch of microfiber cloths in here. Underneath of those, I keep extra vacuum bags for my M18 packout vacuum and then also for a rigid vacuum that I use on job sites a lot of times, and I don't need to change them very often, so I just have those tucked up under there. And then I keep two chargers under here. I still haven't really updated this because it's been working for me. I don't see any reason to change it at the moment. So I do have a rapid charger and then a regular charger because I don't like using the rapid charger on my M12 6.0s for some reason. It seems like it messes them up, or at least that's been my experience. I don't know if it's just happenstance or what. I never had a rapid charger. As soon as I bought them, I started having some M12 6.0 batteries go bad. So in my brain, it tells me that's what the cause was. It may not be, I don't know. I got the M12 radio. Uh, again, that's the one that I like the most. I like the size of it. The sound's good. And, you know, everything about that, I really like it. Uh, here, I keep my Husky kneeling pad. I really like that one. This is the MB3 by Vito. That's got a GoPro and all those things in it. I haven't used it for a while, but I keep it in there just in case, uh, who knows. If I open this up, Back here in the back seat, or in the back of my Carhartt seat cover, I keep my Muddy Buddies. I also keep a safety vest in case I gotta go to a factory or something like that, which I didn't open up the other side. I've got the same thing on the driver's seat, and that's where I keep my trash bags and some Ziploc bags in case I have parts left over, like I take down a ceiling fan, but it's gonna have to go back up. I put those parts in a Ziploc bag so that I don't lose them. So. I didn't open that up over there, but I have the same thing over there, a seat thing like this, and that's what I keep in there. And then basically after that, I've got new drawers over here. I only had one set of drawers, and I think that was the set that was on the other side. I want to say in my last video, and then that was down here, and then I kept my pack out vacuum and thing here. So since then, I have bought two sets of drawers. I bought a two-drawer set and another three-drawer set, and then this up here right now this is my three plane laser from bosch and all the accessories and things that go with that this is a spot again for me to just exchange stuff based on what jobs i'm doing if i'm doing something where i know i'm not going to use this laser but i'm using something else that i've got in pack out i can take this out put it in my garage and then swap this out with something else so if we get into the bottom drawers these have kind of just become bulk drawers that's why i bought the two drawer they're a little bit bigger uh, i have the packable insert splitting this in half so these are all a bunch of just different pry bars uh, little skinny ones different hammers things like that big hammers here's my knipix swedish pipe wrench the uh, compound 
neat on those pliers. Got a review for those as well by Irwin. Hammers, whatever. This is like kind of like my small hand tools over there. This is a big hand tools catch-all. So this is just going to grow over time. If I've got a hand tool that I use on a job or I purchase and I, I got room for it in here, I'm probably going to throw it in here. So that's kind of what this is. It's just a big catch-all drawer. And then this drawer here above that is kind of a this changes this is like i said over on the other side this is whatever i'm doing at the moment i'll grab stuff out of my garage and then it might stay in here until i need something else because i just did a some faucet repair at someone's house and then i'm changing out a bunch of faucets so i took a bunch of supply lines and put them in here i had some pvc work that i was doing so i threw some glue in here i've got different tapes some receptacle switches so this drawer is right now just for me a drawer to throw stuff in for the jobs that I currently have going on and it might be that I know I've got a job on Thursday but I'm prepping my truck on Monday and I I go ahead and throw the stuff for Thursday in here so I've already got it in my truck and I don't have to worry about it anymore so these again were just I put I bought these to be big drawers just to throw random stuff into whenever I need it we get up here to the top drawers this one's again more diff specialty tools but a little bit bigger i bought these packable inserts again i've got one here and then i just have the regular uh, inserts over here so here's my fiskers shears i've got different uh, snips and things like that in here here's some plumbing tools I'm still debating on what i want to get to replace this thing because i hate it i did buy the rigid one-stop um wrench based on a lot of you all suggestions i haven't even i haven't got to put it to use yet but i'm excited to be able to do that and then there's the rig, rigid easy wrench just a bigger pipe cutter for bigger piping i don't use that very often but i keep it in here because i got the m12 one but sometimes i just take that in it's easier insulation knife again all my hand tool drawers aren't going to be specific it's just a place i know where they are I try to keep things kind of together, but it's just I'm looking for slots to keep tools. This is basically a toolbox. And then I have a small mirror here, vinyl siding tool. I've got a job coming up, so I threw that in here. Uh, this here, paint brushes, painter's tape, uh, some a belt sander on a block of wood, belt sandpaper. I did get this silly gun caulk gun. I bought this just because of this reason right here. As you can see how much space that takes up instead of my regular caulk gun. I do like it in some situations and then I don't like it in some situations. I don't know how many of y'all have this. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it if you've got it. I do like it, but it, it's not a one caulk gun for everything type thing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I keep uh, different sandpapers in here for my M18 sander, and then I also have a hand sanding block that uses those same sandpapers, so I keep those in here. Uh, tough built, this is that utility knife that's also a scraper, and that's pretty much all I use it for is that scraper function. I don't even use it as a utility knife. Different scrapers, different chisels, so that's what's there. Top drawer is all my sealants, you know, big stretch, lex sale, power grab, just regular uh, painter's acrylic caulk. I have this silicone profiling kit. I haven't really used much, haven't got the hang of it. Uh, I normally use my finger, and dish detergent and whatever, but I did buy that. I've been trying it here and there. CA glue, some silicone, uh, wood glue, and I also use this MH Ready Patch. This is probably one of my favorite patches uh, that I like to use because it's it dries really fast. Work doesn't shrink a whole awful lot. I really like that uh, quite a bit. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I am interested because there's so many different versions of patches and things like that. If you've got a patch that you really like using, put that in the comments below and, and, and say why. That's always an important part of that too. Don't just put what it is. Say why you like it. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, I think, this side the only other thing that i have up here in the front and this was in the last video is i do have another organizer that i've got mounted in the same way here and that has band-aids batteries earplugs pencil lead small zip ties things like that i keep another pack out crate in here along with 
this bag in case I want to take this off and use it for a trash bag. This is my Klein Tools. I just use it as a big bag with the Mad Pack on it, so I still use that. I clip that onto the side of that crate, but I just use this again as a catch-all. But I can also take this crate out if I'm going to a job where I need to load up a bunch of things that I have in pack out. I can load them in here as well, so uh, that's pretty much what's in there. So that's the cab of my truck, the driver's side, the passenger side. Let's go ahead now, go back to the back. We'll start on the outside, and then we'll talk about what's on the inside. So looking around the outside, I bought this Lear Camper Topper. Again, I got it used for $1,000. It has this roof rack type thing on it, so this side is just one door it's got this glass window here i really kind of wish it didn't have this i don't know why it does but it does have like security type mesh built into it i go around the back same thing it's just one door has glass with that mesh and then this side's got two individual drawers or two doors that open up individually this side i keep my little giant leveler ladder i just strap it on with lashing straps here and there. But then I also have these auto lock. Uh, you can see there, I also keep a King Combo. This is a five foot step ladder that also flips over to an eight uh, foot extension ladder. I keep these on there for security, even though with the tools we have today, there's no such thing as security. Main thing I like them for is, for some reason, if I've got a strap that fails, you know, this is gonna hang them onto the roof rack and will at least keep them from blowing off my truck until I can get somewhere. I really like these, so these are just basically like some kind of a bike lock. It works to where it fit perfectly going around my rack and then over top of these uh, rungs on the ladder. It just, this, this section here just pulls off. I think they were like 30 bucks, but they seem like they work pretty well. So I keep those two ladders on my truck at all times. So this one not only will be a good extension ladder for me, but I can also take, say I go get 16 foot long boards or something like that. I can extend this ladder out some more, both directions and give myself something that's a little bit more stable to put that trim on so it's not bouncing and hitting the top of my truck or something like that. So that's another good reason to have this ladder like this on there as well. So that's the outside. Now let's go ahead and start looking inside these doors. So the first door, and again, most of these type of things, when you open these, they've actually got like a box with shelves and things like that, which is what I intended to build whenever I bought this. But I'm gonna show you that I kinda like it the way that it is for what I do. So if I open this first one, in here I have two pack out crates sitting here. I've got these strapped in to where they, they don't like move. They will move like this, but they won't move out of this location. So here, I keep my work platform tucked back in here, but then inside these crates, here I keep some uh, leather boots. These are also steel toe, so if I have to go into a factory, but they also, if I'm walking, if I start early in the morning and the grass is wet and I'm wearing tennis shoes, I like to swap out and put these on so I don't have wet socks all day. And then I keep my knee pads down here too. So these are both basically here for me to quick grab as I get out of my truck. This is right now some framing screws that I have back here. But this is where I keep all my drywall tape, uh, drywall sanding sponges, some drywall screws. This is a Joey pouch with drywall screws in it. I got mesh tape down in there, different tapes. Again, I do a lot of drywall work it seems like, so I keep these pretty much in there all the time, but I could take these out in the event that I'm going to a job and I'm getting set up and I know I'm not doing drywall. And then since this crate has this divider in it, it allows me to take these single organizers, um, like these framing screws, and snap that in, and I can leave these in here. And then this is just a catch-all bin. Again, I set it up for whatever job that I'm doing. I've got some more supply lines, a little plunger for sinks. Right now, this stuff is just in here. So, But as far as for my setup, this is a catch-all. I go to the store, I buy stuff. I open this door up, I throw it in here, those kinds of things. I keep my M12 fan clipped up into the top here. It just, with the little thing that you fold down, it's the thing that you would wrap around a stud. I keep that clipped on there, so that just stays here. More is a place to sit here, but I could actually turn it on if I wanted to, if I was going to be standing here for a long time. 
And then over here, I've got a M12 charger that I took the guts out of so that because this thing came pre-wired with all sorts of wiring and I had to spend a lot of time, you know, figuring out what went to what. It's got lights on the outside out here. It had flashing lights in the back. It has lights all on the inside, all over the place. It has locks on the um, hinges that come up and down to where you can make it work with your door locks, all those things. I got rid of most of those things, but I went ahead and took this, gutted it out, made it to where now I can take an M12 battery, stick it in there, and then all my lights come on on the inside of the cab. So I didn't have to spend the time trying to wire that into my truck and all those things because I'm not I don't work a lot at nighttime I don't work a lot when it's dark if anything it's early morning and it's still dark outside certain times of year uh, but it does give me the option to turn all these lights on they're already here to light up this space if I need to light it up so uh, then over here I keep my M18 regular vacuum that's my wet vacuum I just keep it back here but you can see I can still as I'm standing here that's in the middle of my truck I can easily grab this and pull that out. Again, it's not a problem for me. If I open up the second one, here, I don't keep anything as far as that I'm gonna grab at the moment. I do keep my little giant small ladder, and then I keep a Bosch blower with a battery adapter for my M18 batteries. I use this to blow off all my tools and then before I put them away, and then I keep my MCT blackout again, like I said, back here. Sometimes this rides up front. Right now it's back here. I go to the back. I open up the back. I open up my back door. Uh, this is normally how I will get this tool bag and ladder out. I don't take them out that side right there, but this is where I grab this. And then here's basically it open. And this is more of my probably most day loadout that I have, but here's why I decided so far, I don't think I want to put boxes in here to have those things out there because I don't need room for the things that would fit in small shelves and things like that. And again, I'm not a electrician every day. I'm not a plumber every day. So I can't outfit my truck for all the plumbing supplies, all the electrical supplies, all the capacitors, all those things like that. If I did one specific thing, that might be worth it for me to do for materials but like right now i've got it set up this way the other day i had it set up where i had to have stuff to grout a shower and a bathroom that i was working on and then later that day i was going to clear a drain and then also i was going to install a door and cut trim and then do some drywall patching so i had all those things in there and i had to have room for that and even then i could have probably fit those things if i had those boxes built out but then the next job that i went to do I went to fix some columns, I had some trim on those columns, I took my table saw with me along with my miter saw and my stand, all sorts of other things that I had in my truck, and if you can see there, if I had if I had those boxes there, I don't think I could have fit my table, table saw, my miter saw, and all those things in there, so this kind of makes it flexible to me to where I can change things, it's just like my pack out crates, I only have them in with a strap just so they don't move around, which with this carpet they don't move anyways. But if I needed this whole bed for something, I can easily just come in here and unstrap that, pull out every bit of that, put it in my garage, and then put those back in later that day. So it's really flexible for me, and I think that works because I got to do it again. I do a lot of different stuff. Uh, this side over here, I've got my seven and a quarter miter saw. I've got a job coming up. That's why that's in here. Sometimes if I don't have a bunch of stuff in here, I just leave that in here. So it gives me an option to have a miter saw. I've got my 20 minute hot mud and then an empty bucket for cleaning my drywall tools. Uh, I keep my powdered uh, mud, I get it out of the bag and I just keep it in buckets with a lid that way it's easier for me to get to. I have all my drywall tools inside that one, all my knives, uh, my pans and things like that inside that ammo style pack out crate. Let me go ahead and go over here to this side. So that fits in that box and again i can easily just reach around here pop that and pull that out it's easy for me to get to here's my m18 pack out vacuum i can get that pull that out right here i've got a small broom and dust pan this is the rolling pack out cart the one with the wheels that you put on the bottom of your stack 
I just have this in here so that in case I go to a job and I want to take this out again, I've got it strapped in, I can unstrap it, take it out. I just keep some big things in here that I don't need to get out very often. I have an M18 like radius light. I've got my mud mixing drill, my M12 inflator, uh, some blankets, uh, just some random things that I don't get out drop cloths <clears throat> very often. I keep them in here. All I have to do is take off these two things, flip that lid up. I can get in there and get to those. And then on the side down here, I just keep a third hand with my tripod attachment. So that way I have a third hand with me if I need it to help me hold up something. But I also have a tripod so I can use my laser on that if I need to mark up something high. And that's pretty much for the most part it with that top. But you can see with all the doors open, I can basically access the entire bed of my truck all the way around. And my full intent was to build those boxes, but I don't, I'm still not sure that I'm going to because it's been working for me like this. This is the way that it came and that's how I'm using it. I almost forgot I do have my four foot level Stabila digital level. It's up here and I've got a mount that I bought. You just untwist this and it pops down uh, so i'm thinking about getting two more of those and put my plate level uh, over here on this side so that's pretty much that i do have my quick can underneath of here i can pull that out and make that a trash can and then i also keep a six foot straight edge underneath of here that I can pull out as well and put that back in there so that works out. I basically have that underneath here, not in my way, not taking up space. And then we get into the down here. I've got a water meter wrench where I can pull this out. It's, it's the T handle where you can shut off a water meter outside if you need to. I don't need to use that very often, but in a pinch I like to have it with me and that's not taking up any room. And then I keep a small water hose tucked in beside there. This side, I have a painter's pole. I just got this back at Lowe's and they're a little 75% off clearance out on the back. I think I got this ball hitch for uh, 20 bucks or something like that. I'm probably gonna take and put that on instead of, but I just keep that here in case I need to go get a trailer or something like that. Uh, at some point in time, I may put that on all the time and just leave it because right now I have this step and I've been using that, but it, it's got a lot of wiggle to it when I stand on it. It doesn't feel real comfortable. So I think I'm gonna change that out for that and I can just stand on those two balls. It'd be the same difference. So now we're gonna get into the deck drawers. This side is my extra storage side for the most part so again i've still got storage left over that's why i'm saying i'm not going to take out those seats in the back of my truck yet all those things all those extra pack out drawers and stuff has freed up some space for me so this is another place that i will open up this if i've got a job coming up this gets loaded up with whatever that job is the only things that stay in here all the time i have my vacuum pack out attachments on my air tips and things like that in that bag i've got those bags that i've previously the welkin land bags with my plumbing electrical data tools that i randomly might would need i like to have them on me but very rarely use those are in those bags so i push them all the way back to the back this is my m12 um, copper cutter and bandsaw i keep those in here all my m12 tools i don't know that i'm gonna go through every single bag you can go back to my first video for the most part it's all the same tools that are in that first video and then here's my m18 rear handle right now that's in here just because it's i needed it for a certain job so that one's kind of empty that's job specific whatever it is i don't keep that one packed out all the time this drawer always stays this way right here all the time so it's all my milwaukee main tools that i use other than what's in my front drawers and the few that i've got in this one just because i didn't have room uh, here are some tire plugs and a tire plug kit and then i keep straps and a faucet or a water hose nozzle uh, some of this saran wrap type thing in case i need to wrap up trim or something before i put it on the top so again here's all my m12 tools 
my green. That's Sawzall oscillating tool in there. Here we've got blue M12 hammer drill, red M12 pin nailer and stapler. Here's the M12 circular saw, M12 planer and jigsaw with the coping foot on it, M18 angle grinder and the M12 cutoff tool. This one is the M18 uh, brad nailer and then also my M18 radio, uh, orbital sander. And then way back in the back, if I can get down in there, I have my M12 3.8 stubby, M12 high speed 3.8 ratchet, and then my 3.8 impact socket set. So if I dug those out, I'm gonna kinda always use them together. And then there's another Welkin land patch, uh, Welkin land pouch. That one's my network tool pouch. I just threw it back in there because I had some room. So it's a little harder to get back in there to those. So I try to put things back in the back uh, that I don't use that often, but they're still easily accessible. I can get to it just by walking over here to the side and reaching back in there. It's not real hard to get those. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Plus you have to dig out, you know, whatever bags you've got right here. But again, for the most part, camper topper for me, the whole reason why really I was looking for one more than anything is I'm able to take all these things with me now and I don't have to worry about somebody seeing them and getting into them. Not to say that somebody can't break into these things and all those, I understand that. But used to whenever i was going to the store like if i went to a job site and i needed my miter saw with this deck box and a topper that's like a tonneo cover tonneau cover however you say that uh I, I couldn't put that in there without just leaving it exposed so if i went to home depot in the middle of the day because i need to go get something what am i supposed to do with my miter saw just leave it in the back of my truck go into the store and hope nobody walks by and just grabs it out this has made it so much better for me because now I can, as soon as I come out of the job site, I can, for one, just throw tools in here and then organize it when I get home. I don't have to sit there and strap stuff in and out, uh, make sure that I get stuff exactly put up to where it's not going to blow out on the interstate, all sorts of things like this. I mean, this has been a game changer for me and what I'm doing. Maybe it would be helpful to you, but that's how I'm loading out my truck right now. Again, it's an ever-growing process. It's going to always change, especially for me, because what I do, I do so many different things. This right here changes daily. Now, all that stuff right in that general area and this, this L right here, that's almost always in there. This drawer is almost always the same, but everything in this area and in this drawer, it changes pretty much at least weekly, daily. Just depends on what jobs I'm doing, but... That's my loadout right now, guys. I know it's a long video. Uh, hopefully, you guys like it. But let me know in the comments below if there's something you see that you think I could change, add, modify, whatever it is. I really always appreciate suggestions. But hope you guys like it. Hope it was useful in some way. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.